Hello everyone and Dr. Sonora in uh, the last video we discussed about distracted primitives box modeling and in this video uh, we will continue with that and after box you see in the standard primitives it is cone so if you want to draw cone you can just hit the cone and either uh, you can <laughs> put a radius 1 value here and you can see the changes are coming in radius one after that you just uh, leave the left mouse and take the cursor to desired height and you can click once and bring your mouse inwards so this is radius two after that <coughs> when you hit enter you can change the value from here also if you want to exact of your desired uh, the radius I am going to enter suppose 2 feet here so this radius 1 is 2 feet and uh, for radius 2 we can give like uh, 1 feet you can get this like a uh, truncated and height also you can change from here and this is the height segment you can increase it will uh, become smoother and uh, you can change from here also you can give radius to value to zero also so it will be perfect cone so this is this is the method i will draw cone and next one is a sphere so a sphere is uh, simply a sphere and you have to just uh, enter the value from here a radius and segments uh, the more the segment the smoother the object will be so uh, if you want to draw a sphere you have to just take the left mouse button here and you have you are seeing the changes in the radius and you can draw as many as a sphere you want you can change color from here and uh, so this is the sphere which we are drawing and here is keyboard entry I have already discussed keyboard entry if you know the value radius you can just uh, enter the radius here and you can create sphere if I am going to enter the radius to fit and hit create so you are seeing here sphere is drawn by method of keyboard entry and you can in every uh, box cone sphere etc you can draw by keyboard entry method also the next is geosphere is same like sphere only only thing is you have to if you know the diameter you can take the diameter and rest parameters you can change from here and uh, if you want to draw octa can draw octa also you uh, basic base type so there is not that much uh, difference you can change radius your segment also you can change segment and it, you are seeing the changes in the same so tetrahedron octahedron icosa and if you uh, increase the segment it will be turned into a sphere so less the segments the less smoother will be the offset next is cylinder so in cylinder you have the radius of the base i'm going to give the radius of the base and after that you have to just take the left mouse left mouse you are not supposed to leave the left mouse and if you want to get your desired radius you just take the left mouse and just leave there you left click and then take it to give the height and after that you can just hit once click and your cylinder is ready and you can change from here radius to make it to your desired length height and and segment means more the segment more the smoother the object will be <laughs> after that tube so it will be hollow let me just uh, give radius one 
and then radius 2 and you have to keep the height so you can change the value from here if I am going to give 1 fit and radius 2 also 1 fit or 6 inch and height I am going to give 5 fit so you are seeing that uh, tube is drawn then the next is torus torus is is the object is in like a torus this is like a knot and if you want to give radius value you can give here radius 2 so and rotation so if you rotate you want to rotate you can rotate also so and twist and twist also this object and the object will change its shape so this is torus next is pyramid and if you want to draw from edge also you can draw the edge and uh, you can change the radius from here radius rotation and twist also you can reduce twist so it will become smoother like next is pyramid so pyramid is if you want to draw base you have to keep the base then width and depth and then you have to give height to your pyramid and you can <coughs> change the height from here also depth and width so these are the basics standard primitives uh, modeling and these are important to make your hands uh, comfortable on modeling and this is teapot is very basics teapot in 3ds max and uh, this is given just to uh, ch check your rendering in uh, Revit uh, when you will start using V-Ray uh, T-Port you can use T-Port or else you can change the interior setting you can put, place the T-Port there also this is plane plane you will use for drawing floors in uh, most of the our architectural modeling this is the plane so simply you have to uh, draw a plane here and you can change your length and width from here if you want uh, a creation method rectangle then this is rectangle you can give any length you want a square you can just draw a square it will be of equal size you can change color from here so uh, plane will use in our rigor for drawing floors ceilings and all and uh, the next is text plus so this is for uh, drawing text so if you uh, suppose you ever want to draw any text you can just <coughs> draw here and you can change directions and uh, then you can change your um, text parameters also from here if I want to draw uh, suppose architecture okay in the object uh, text here from text parameters and then you can uh, change the font also if you want another fonts like uh, script semi bold you can use this you can make a bold text also from here and then you can change the size of text and <coughs> this size you can change from here and you can draw another text of your choice so this is the main basics modeling on the standard primitives in the next video we will continue with the extended primitives so thanks for watching if you like my video give your valuable comments thanks thanks